Hi, here's a quick demo of how you can post an ad for sale. You'll click to make your login. So we'll just put in my username and password here. And now we're successfully logged in. You'll see that there's a menu at the top, so to place an ad or to see existing ads, but we're gonna place a new ad. We're gonna place a new for sale ad. The first thing you can do is you can add images. And that's as simple as just dragging an image and putting it in there. You can also drag multiple images at the same time and place them into your your uh, the window. So it'll uh, it'll update those. You're going to select the breed, whether it's a purebred dog or a crossbred. So for example, a cockapoo would be under the cock, uh, under the, the crossbreed selection. So we can see cockapoo, we can do a search here. Um, if you have a crossbreed dog, you're actually able to put it into two categories. We might have a Jack Russell um, that's uh, crossed with a different type of terrier. You'll select whether it's wormed and vaccinated or neutered. And a little bit about its temperament, uh, the date of birth. All dogs have to be over seven weeks of age before they can be advertised. You're going to put in the information about the country of origin. We have Ireland and the UK at the top here, but there's the full list of all the countries. We're going to select the database that the dog is in. There's a number of different databases that are, are possible here. There's Animark, Fido, the IKC, and the ICC, so the Irish Coursing Club Microdog. So you'll select this. You'll put in the 15 digits of the dog uh, microchip that you'll find under the certificate. You'll enter in the sex of the dog and the color. If you want to add in another dog, you can just click on it here. And you can put in all the dogs that you're selling, um, all the microchip numbers uh, very, very easily. We're going to put in an, an ad title. And this could be a good description about what type of breed you have for sale, and how many dogs you have, or where you are. So it might be, you know, Jack Russell. So cross, cross in Dublin. Then we can enter in a description. And the nice thing with the description is you can actually make it, uh, you can format it. So what we could do here is I'm just going to use this text. So if we wanted to have some two bullet lists, we'd be able to even insert a YouTube video um, and uh, or make a link. So if we had a link to your Instagram, you can bold and italicize different parts of the text as well to, to make it stand out you're going to enter in a price this price has to be over 100 euros um, and then we will put in your details of where you are so you, this will just appear on a map view or a map in, information when you when you post it and we can you can choose whether to have your telephone number displayed to everybody or just to logged in people uh, but we're going to say no, not at this time. And uh, then we can go down through the terms and conditions. This just brings you through some things that you say you have to use actual photographs of your dog. Um, you are you need to be the owner of the dog. You can't be selling somebody else's dog. Or if you've bought a dog and you're selling it on, um, you would also need to put the dog in your name first before you can sell it. Um, the microchips need to be registered. So the first part is implantation, and then the second part is registration. Um, and you can check by clicking on this link and putting in your microchip number to see if it's already done. Generally, if you have a certificate in your hand that shows that it's registered. Um, we won't publish a, a dog until it's it's over seven weeks of age. Um, and you just have to remember that it has to be over eight weeks of age before you can actually sell it. Uh, so you can advertise first before you, you'll sell it. Um, if you sell multiple dogs in a year, and this number is when you sell six or more in a year, you do need to register with the Department of Agriculture. There's a link and some information here. It's a very simple uh, form that you can fill out to get an ID. And uh, if you're a larger breeding uh, operation and you've got six or more female dogs on your property, and uh, you may need to register with the, your local authority. So there's just some information here. Some thoughts about um, we don't allow ads with ear cropping or declawing and things like this. Um, and you acknowledge the, the terms and conditions. You have the option to save a draft. So maybe you're not ready to, to, to publish the ad or, or, or do something or, or, or you don't want to put it live yet. You can just hit save the draft. 
we'll save a copy of this. So you can you see here we've we've uh, arranged it. Um, a couple of other tips you can if you wanted to update the, the, the images you can do that by clicking on for example the rotate image. So we can put that image on its side and this will upload it again so it takes a second or two um, and uh, that's quite helpful. The first image in your ad is the one that's going to be shown on the main display so you can click to optimize this as well a little bit so you might want to frame it a little bit better um, in case the dog is um, in, in one corner of the picture so you can just click and drag it and move it around so you can just click the save there as well that's it take, takes a little bit of a second so you can see the thumbnail is updated you can also click to rearrange these thumbnails and um, so you can click here we can change this one and we'll just cl click to optimize this thumbnail for example we will zoom right in on the space and you can see here it's updated so we can review the, again the, the information in the ad, we can update things as we want, and then when we're ready, we can click to pay to publish, just need to accept the terms and conditions again, and click to pay to publish. Once you've paid to publish, your ad will go into a queue for a review. You can still edit it, um, and uh, you can see how to, what it'll look like with the preview here, for example, and the listings. Um, and we will help you go through your ad and check if everything is all right. So it generally takes um, you know, a couple of minutes to a couple of hours, um, and then your ad will be live on, on the homepage. Thank you very much.